hills we just did the dirt but if you mix in this stuff here organic hummus and manure uh, I read the hummus actually helps break down because our soil is kind of it's like clay and uh, for some reason the hummus does a really good job at uh, uh, softening it up and then we also have this garden soil made with compost it's a little better than the other stuff uh, it's specifically made for vegetables and herbs. I just kind of mixed it in on top, the top layer, and then it will condition down into it. And here are the zucchini seeds that we started. Everything we started this year was from seed, and this is where we got them in the pots so that they're ready to plant outside. Once they have at least two true leaves, then you can put them outside. And it's always good to place them in the pots where you're going to plant them before you go ahead and dig the hole. What I've done here is I made the hole quite a bit bigger, as you can see, than the, the plant itself. So we dug through the normal dirt and it's coated on the top with the, the good manure mixture. But like I said, normally you would just plant it or cut it about this deep, but because this is a little harder soil, I'm going to fill it with the garden uh, soil mix first so that it's nice and soft all around. So we got the hole bigger than the plant. And then like I said, I'm gonna put this vegetable and herb garden soil a little better. You can see how nice and soft and fluffy that is. That's what new plants like to get going. So you fill the hole with that. all around it and then when you put the plant down in there it lets those roots expand and um, that way once it gets to this harder wall on the side those roots are, are getting pretty strong at that point and they should be able to penetrate with no problem but it's just helping it along so it doesn't have any shock or anything from going inside in the pot to the outside that's probably good. And then you fill it in around the sides. So remember on zucchini, you don't want it to be very deep. You want it to be about the same height as it is now in the pot. Poor Kinley came outside to play and help me a little bit. And she got stung by a bee right away. She wasn't wearing shoes. Oh, it got her pretty good. So check that out, yeah. They got, has the good roots going all around. You can see that. And you just plop it in there, like so. And that's perfect. It's right about the height of the natural hill. That was already there. And then we can just fill in around with the soft stuff. Like I said, those roots, they love this natural, uh, soft compost material just helps them breathe better and really get a head start and then once they get bigger and and better they should have no problem going into the other stuff and then all the other excess dirt you're just gonna sweep on top there we go we got a zucchini in so here's the next hole there's our zucchini. and then same gig we got your pot here, but again, I made it quite a bit bigger than the actual pot because I'm gonna fill it in with a softer soil around and up there so that it comes to about right here. Got the second one in. And it's a little... so on zucchini, you wanna plant them two feet apart because they cover some ground, unless you wanna have them go straight up on a trellis, which I'm debating at the moment, but we're not trying to be this huge garden factory. <laughs> it's our first year, so we'll see how this goes. But anyways, that's how we did our zucchinis. Like I said, you don't need to fill this entire hill with this good stuff because zucchini grows pretty well on its own. But it does help to add that little extra bit around the outside just to give it a head start to let those roots start to expand and get really strong before they hit into the harder stuff. And that's your zucchini. We got some wood mulch, the dark brown dyed wood mulch. 
<laughs> this is what eight yards looks like. And next is the cauliflower seeds. Look how tiny those ones are. And uh, like I said, we, we planted it from seed and this is what we got in the pot. It is ready to go outside. So you get the idea by now. We're just making the holes bigger, quite a bit bigger than the plant itself. But again, you just fill it up with the garden soil, vegetable nerve stuff, and then it does the trick. Ray, what are you doing? Why are you out here? <laughs> so here it is, check out those roots. They're ready to go in the ground and find some more room to grow. There it is. On cauliflower, you plant them uh, one foot apart. Not two feet like the zucchini, but uh, just one foot. It takes a square foot around for the leaves and everything to grow. Sweet. We got the cauliflower in the ground. Somehow I only had one cauliflower survive. Out of, out of all those little seedlings and it's pretty much my fault because I paid more attention to the tomatoes and peppers than the other stuff but um, yeah like I said a foot apart so we have room for three more here remember every time you put a plant in the ground you want to use this three-in-one garden spray on it it's actually a preventative it will keep away all the mites and all those little uh, rep not reptiles. What are they called? Insects. All the insects and but also controls like black spots, powdery mildew, blight, all that good stuff. It has the different oils and things in it and so once you put it in you just give it a spray on the leaves and it's just giving it a healthy start again. Instead of waiting till this happens you're doing this right away. You can see I just coated the leaves and that way they, um, like I said, you're preventing it from even wanting to come here. I, I think they don't like the smell or, or other things. This one's made from Maggie Farms, but there's a lot of different brands that make it. So I'll always use a three-in-one garden spray.